Vista Suites. For this week's video, I'm just going to do a bit of like a start of contract recap, a little bit of like a collage of stuff we've been doing. I got to Miami uh, Sunday night, the 10th, late at night. It was great. And then we had our very first day of rehearsals, which we are currently mostly doing evening shift, which means we start around 4 p.m. and then go until we need to, until we need to end. I will say I'm very lucky to be a singer because we've been having shorter, quicker rehearsals, whereas the dancers have a lot more work to do. So they are working their butts every single day and just doing the long hours and doing a lot more physically intensive work and they are so impressive. I cannot believe them. There's some reptile friends. We have iguanas, uh, which I discovered apparently iguanas in the winter freeze after they crawl up into trees and then fall down frozen and you're supposed to leave them. Okay, did not know that. We also have a crocodile for a neighbor. So Bay Vista, and the royal rehearsal spaces are like this. They're like beside each other, but there's like this little little area that you walk past and there's a beautiful sign that says to watch out for the crocodile. And apparently his name is Fluffy. Now I have not seen Fluffy yet. I don't know if I want to see Fluffy. I'm kind of intrigued to see Fluffy, but if I don't, I will not be upset because I also don't want to be Fluffy's meal. Besides the reptile friends, like honestly, I have became friends with everyone in my cast. My entire cast is incredible very nice very funny very talented people from all over the world it's honestly insane i'm still kind of pinching myself every morning that i am here <laughs> just a little canadian girl with a dream and now i'm here which is wild some standout characters in this cast first off jamie jamie will make an impression the funniest thing ever is that jamie said like in the first like day or so that he was like yeah, I'm really quiet. I don't talk a lot. Thank you in advance for being a royal ambassador a and welcome job. to the That's family. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Like everyone was very soft spoken, but Jamie was the first to crack. I love him so much and he is just hilarious. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I got it on the book. We're on the bug. <laughs> I adore him. He and I just we get each other. He's amazing. I would say the biggest 180 of personalities in the past 10, 11 days has gotta be Brenna. And I love it. Brenna is one of my roommates here in this Bay Vista suite. She has this room, whereas I'm in the room in the front. And she was another person who was very soft-spoken at first. And then something happened and she's come out of her shell and she's hilarious. I was like, you, back line, staggered. And you were like, hey, <laughs> 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 I adore her, I adore Jamie, I adore Taylor, I adore Hannah and Georgia, and all the boys. Honestly, it's such a great cast. I'm just so grateful that they're all in this show with me because they are wonderful. Making me laugh harder than I have ever laughed. Like, I have smiled more, deep belly laughed more to produce the most unladylike, unflattering snorts. Uh, just because of the sheer amusement and enjoyment and like happiness I feel with these people, which is lovely. My room is cute, I decorated it. I am very grateful to my musical theater A students for providing me all the beautiful posters and pictures. I have pictures of my besties, Amanda McBee. I have stuff with my brother. I have stuff with my, my nanny and kiddos back at home who I miss a lot. Little homesick, maybe? Not yet. I don't know, I think I'm having too much fun. We've had some really beautiful weather and then it kind of turned and it got kind of overclassed, cloudy, rainy. It was feeling a lot like home. So maybe that's why I'm not as homesick because we had that kind of Vancouver weather, but we did have a hurricane. And I did not know until the next day because I was too busy living it up with um, just my cats. We were having a good little dance party. So yeah, but even when it's overcast and cloudy and rainy, it is like 18, 19, 20, 21 degrees. So I'm loving it. Like, I never really have to wear pants. I do, but like, I could just wear shorts and I'm good. And that is baffling because it is like four days to Christmas. Yeah, that is wild to me. We're gonna end on a very special note. We are going to end on my first time ever 
having Taco Bell. Crunch wrap. Crunch wrap. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm going to get Taco Bell on Friday and see if it tastes the same. Because I feel like it's more. Once you get more into the crunch wrap, it'll taste all different flavors. Crunch wrap, I was going to say, I like, so there's a slight crunch. Like, like the cheese salsa. So it's like a salsa tea. Oh, wow. Oh. Those, Those are the best. I know. Um, it's pretty good. I want it to be crunchier. Like, does it come with the cheese sauce in it? Mm -hmm. But when it's oh, nice. like, I see not, sour cream. Yeah, it literally was like five minutes down. This is delicious though. So I I understand the hype. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a Baja. What is that? It's, it's a Baja glass, baby. Yeah. Mozzarella sticks. Yeah. It's just they're like they're like air pops. Like yeah, that's yum. That, that is yum. Yummy. Best thing I've had from Taco Bell so far. This is pretty good though. Oh. Not if it's not. Do they not bring it? No. Put the love out. Yes, they would. Yeah, God have love. Do your Chick Fil A sauce, Mason. Are you staring at yourself? <laughs> Our Katina. What? Dairy Queen. Do they not have that here? No, they, no, they do. They don't have like oh. 